Hello everyone, I'm WT and we have a very special guest today on the Twitch stream, CPO Joseph Wong. We're going to talk about BubbleBots, a very up and coming match three game made by Peanut Games. It checks three major boxes for me. The team is doxxed, you know I love that. They are on the IMX platform. Everyone knows how biased and ridiculously in love with IMX platform that I am. And it's on mobile. The, the whole entire planet has billions and billions of people that have access to mobile phones, and it's a huge part of why I like bubble bots. So those three checkpoints really hit it home for me. But before I get into this and we meet Joseph Wong, Crypto King, how you doing, brother? I am doing well. How are you? Oh, uh, you know, fighting off uh, some of this ill effects of being sick last week and just being <laughs> super busy. And, uh, you know, Web3, it never stops. We just keep going, right? You just gotta move to the side, dodge a little. <laughs> You'll be good drinking yep. that tea. Absolutely amazing. So, like I said, we have a very special guest today on the Twitch stream, the CPO of Peanut Games, and he's working on this hit match three game, Bubble Bots. His name is Joseph Wong. I read his bio. His bio is absolutely amazing. He went from making twelve bucks an hour to eighty grand in a year just off of Excel skills. So you know he's got some tech to him right off the bat. He's done e-commerce entrepreneurship. He founded two companies hitting over six figures of revenue in just one year. He was a financial analyst with Raytheon, Ally Financial Audit Administrator, a project coordinator for Ericsson, and he went to the University of Texas. My heart is dear to Texas. I got family down there. Someday I want to retire down there. I absolutely love Texas and it's beautiful weather almost all season long, except for the two hot months. You know how that goes. So Joseph Wong, I know I just shotgunned everything at you there. Can you tell us how you got from all that impressive resume to peanut games and what you do there? Wow, you really did your research, man. Um, <laughs> thanks for the very over uh, over the top <laughs> intro. <laughs> I think I think one of the things I've always realized from life is like, um, it, it's not as easy as it seems, right? Like it seems like it was a nice breeze, but obviously like individually, I know the challenges along the way, um, <laughs> but it definitely wasn't as, as, as beautiful as you make the picture to seem. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like the whole, the whole gist behind that story is, um, got into entrepreneurship, you know, grew up super shy, didn't know what I wanted in life. And, uh, you know, through that journey, kind of figured a lot out and, Got into crypto, lost a lot of money, made a lot, lost a lot, uh, just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like we always have these dreams to when we're kids that we want to do and things that we want to accomplish. It was really interesting when Henry just ends up hitting me up and he's like, yo, you want to create a game in crypto? And I was like, hey, you know, like that makes a lot of sense. Like we both built businesses and, you know, a lot of those crypto games out there were just put it as is, right? Like they're there to rug pull you. <laughs> and it's like, you're like, yo, we think we can do better than this. And we can actually make a game that's fun. And so that's kind of what we've been working on and what we've been building. It's kind of the gist of how we came together. Um, and it's been a while, over a year now working at Peanut Games. Um, but yeah. How did that relationship come come to fruition? Sorry if I'm just- No, that's fine, go ahead. Busting in here. Both you and Henry, you said he hit you up. How did that first come about? So we have a mutual friend who actually introduced us and we were just talking about things quite a lot, just crypto, right? Mm -hmm. And then a few months in, that's when he just asked me the question and it was like, yeah, man, let's let's do it. And to be honest, like we didn't have things fully laid out. We figured out as we went and um, definitely learned a ton from, you know, what it takes to build a, a gaming studio and a ton of lessons along that way for sure. But uh, it's been a really cool ride and you know I think what's really helped is us just being entrepreneurs like we understand that you have to be resourceful you have to figure things out and what I've seen in my own journey of like getting to know a ton of people doing eight to nine figures of revenue and e-commerce is like it's just they didn't quit was it it's as simple as that like some must have failed for like four years straight and then fifth year they crushed it and so like that's something that I think has helped us greatly along this journey because you know like we had the mindset of we don't care if it's a bear market like we're gonna make this work and we're gonna be resourceful we're gonna pivot we pivoted so many times in our company we started out as a board game and we were like yo like i don't think this is what people actually want 
in <laughs> games to play mm -hmm. online, you know, like, and so we just, we, we had a working game, man. We just pivoted. We were like, all right, just, we, we had to make decisions that are hurt and we had to do it quick and we pivoted like that. I love, I love that story. And you, you you're really selling yourself short there, in my opinion. Just my opinion at the beginning, you're like, oh, it's too over top. No, this stuff, like, excites me. I like seeing where people come from and how they got to places. And, like, looking through through your bio, like, you had some successes. It looked like you had a little bit of adversity. But, like, that's, that's like everybody. And I look at it as, like, building steps. You wouldn't be where you are today with Peanut Games developing a very cool game if you didn't go through those. So... I don't think I ever take something lightly when I look at people thing, and I think it is warrants me being over the top. I get excited about that pe seeing people <laughs> succeed at something. I mean, it's something to go from twelve bucks an hour to like eighty grand just off of something that you were doing with Excel. I mean, that just blows my mind. I'm like, yeah, I, I love it. It pumps me up. So, <laughs> don't sell yourself short, brother. I love seeing it. Uh, great story, Crypto King. Any quick thoughts on, on anything he just said there? when you first said all that i i heard like him gasp and it was like wow this guy's really impressive and you're talking about him <laughs> it's so cool it is so cool you should again you should take a little bow that's that's mm -hmm. that's a, a really really impressive few steps in a short amount of time so again yep. take so that bow take you know it's kudos to you Absolutely. And uh, you were talking about the team there and it kind of leads me to my next thing. I've been, you know, jumping into Twitter spaces when I can and, and checking them out. The the team vibe that you guys have, it's a little different. I I haven't heard this in any other Twitter spaces. If you haven't heard them, you have to go check it out. Uh, for whatever reason, you guys like to take shots at each other and there's a lot of ribbing going on and jokes and like, it's not your typical Twitter spaces. And I like that because it gives it kind of that like, it really hits your ears harder, and I like the positive energy, the fun factor you guys ribbing each other. And in these Twitter spaces, I keep hearing about bubbles and nuts, and I'm a little confused. Are they the same? Are they different? And if, if they're if they're the same, cool. If they're different, why are they different? And then, uh, are we safe to assume that these bubbles and or nuts are the lifeblood of bubble bots? <laughs> Too bad. So. First of all, with the ribbon and stuff like that, it's it's funny when you say that just because like internally, right? Like that, what I realize is when we actually like diss each other and all that. The funny part of it is we have a unique way to do it. Like whenever I crack jokes in, internally, everybody's like, "We don't get it, dude. That's not funny." <laughs> <laughs> when when Henry cracks jokes too, I'm like, "Dude, like." It's not even that funny, but like it's kind of funny because I know him. Um, but in the same way, like <laughs> when we're ribbing each other, I already know in the back end. Like if I rib or diss, like let's say the team, they're just like, um, okay, and vice versa. <laughs> so anyway, it's just it's just funny, like knowing the inside perspective on things. Um, yeah, Henry's almost, definitely like the family. ringleader of it for sure. It's yeah, it's like a family at Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just going around the table. So can you break down these bubbles and nuts for me? It, I'm yes. a little confused on it. So nuts is our token, right? Like okay. nuts is going to be our token. Uh, we're going to TG like next year, mid next year. Um, bubbles is right now a non-crypto token. It is just a way for us to consider points, right? Mm -hmm. Whoever has the most points is going to get the most bubbles. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Whoever has okay. the most points. XP. Kind of. Yeah. Um, whoever has the most bubbles is you're gonna get more nuts, right? So bubbles is just the way to get nuts when we launch. Okay. But since nuts isn't there, we can't be like, oh, hey, like this ah, is nuts. Gotcha. Okay. So I, I assume like this is gonna be the lifeblood of the game with these nuts eventually. Of probably, who? I'm sure you guys got a list of things, but is is it gonna be the lifeblood of the game? Is, is that safe to say? Ooh, that's a hard question. So that's, it's, it's deeper into economics and tokenomics. And I know that like for me, when I go that route of speaking that stuff, people mm -hmm. get really confused. And then I'm like, <laughs> it's just no longer enjoyable. But I think that <laughs> to make it a short summary, right? Like mm -hmm. right now, Bubbles is used specifically for nuts. When we launch the actual mobile game, it may still be called Bubbles, but it's not going to function as the same thing as what it's doing now. I, I, man, I feel like I'm making it even more confusing. No, no, no. No, I get oh, what no, you're no. saying. 
I get what oh, you're okay. saying. I think right. I was just talking in terms of like you're you're going to be using these to buy in-game things, uh, whether it's cosmetics, whether it's upgrades to your units, repairing your units, or whatever. I don't know what you guys are doing exactly. We're still very, very early in this project, but I was just curious if it was going to be the lifeblood uh, of the game or or not, maybe not the lifeblood, maybe partially, partially lifeblood. So uh, we, we can... Uh, right now, yes. For the current build of the game, 100%. When we release the full-on version of the game, definitely not. Ah, uh, okay. All right, good Good to know, good to know. Crypto King, any uh, th thoughts on that? We we went through, like, ribbing partners and uh, <laughs> bubbles and nuts and, you know, all that good stuff. Well, I, I love the art. Uh, I am a... Um, I love art. I'm an artist. Uh, I, I at least think so. Um, and it, it is so fun. And are, are you keeping... Uh, as is, or are you in development to change, or is that can I assume that it's going to stay this way in that, that nice friendly, fun look? Yo, I just realized your uh, Discord profile picture moves, man. I was like, am I seeing things? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little <laughs> Batman punch. Um, dude, on the art, like, um, my Amazon business is like, they were all, it was always about art, right? Um, okay. So like, the products that I currently sell are like just very custom kids toys that involves art and art's always been a big thing. Um, I, I just say that because bubble bots, like we went through so many iterations of like art to get it to where it is now. And it's something that I am really happy about just because like we worked really hard on making that art the way it is. So I'm glad that you really like it. I do not like the gems though. We are changing that for the record. Okay. Um, the gems that you see in game that you move them the match three gems but sure. the actual robots no it's not going to change that's something that has taken a long time to get to where we are to find the right <coughs> artist to create all that um but i'm glad can we really get like can we get a little insight into the first and first few <laughs> iterations of the art can we get some tweets like you know original art can we get that out in the in the twitter like what it used to be, or what? Yeah, it what it what it came. Yeah, where where it came from. That'd be interesting. I will. I, I love. I love that, that stuff, up, man. I will have to dig it up. I need to write that down though, because I will forget. I I like. I just got off another call, and I owe like. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of requests, and I'm like trying to. <laughs> sure. We can message you. We'll give you a reminder. That that is cool. He, uh, Crypto and, King, he's an art nut, so I, I had a feeling he was going to ask one of those questions. <laughs> I definitely can go find it out, but it was really bad, man. I, I'm like embarrassed to even show it. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I, I love it. I just like seeing the history. You know, I, I, I love history on things. Yeah. Speaking of history, not too long ago in November, Peanut Games kicked out 16 and a half grand in USDC. 16.5 cane. Absolutely insane. Just blew my mind that big of a prize pool that you guys gave out. Some people in my personal Discord, they won some of those prizes. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Tomahawk, he's a buddy of ours. Uh, he, he plays this game with us sometimes live. He, I know he won, and I think someone else did also. And right now in December, there's a tournament going on for Double Bubbles. It's going on until December 23rd. You go into the mini game, score as many points as you can, earn your Double Bubbles that way. But at some point in mid-December uh, from the Twitter spaces, Peanut Games is going to have an update for a brand new mode that we can earn even more bubbles from. Uh, Joseph, is, is there anything that you can give us uh, a heads up about this with this new update in December? Yeah, sure. Am I able to share my screen? Like, is that doable? Um, Boy, maybe. You can we'll give it a try. It. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. I know you can. I just don't know if it's going to work. We've never tried that here. Yeah, I think you just have to click on it on screen, but we'll see. All right. You tell, you tell me if you can see this. Okay. I'm going to hit watch stream. All right. Oh, yeah. Yep. I got yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, some obviously, this is part of the new big update and there's going to be a oh shoot let me turn off the sound um, <laughs> oh, i love it i love it already Ooh, i like the color yeah, scheme. this is alpha this, right here this is going to be really big man i can't can't release it but this is going to be very big it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna change up like the enjoyment of playing this game 
like greatly. Uh, that's what I can say is that like when you play, like right now, if it's fun to you, like once you see that build, it's going to be a huge reason to like play a lot more. Um, so yeah. Oh I'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I already said, I mean, uh, Tomahawk's on our stream and, uh, he's foaming at the mouth right now. What do you say? <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, I, I don't know if he's watching, but he was at work. So I'm not sure if he was able to see it or not. Oh, he'll, he'll go back and watch. Yeah. No, I know he will. I know he will. Yeah. That's he, he saw that on the game night for the record. Um, he was on the game night with us. Uh, oh, very cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's actually, I got to give him props. Uh, him and I have been hanging out for a couple years now in our in our Discord community and all that, and uh, he's huge in IMX also. And I've seen the game, but like I'm in so many different projects, so many games, I can't keep up. And he messaged me, he's like, hey, you need to take a look at this, because he knows I'm looking for playable games in this space. I want to stream playable games, and the, you know there's not that many out there, and your guys' game is fun, I can play it on stream, we can talk about it. So I was like, yeah, cool, this is awesome, and... Uh, Boy, uh, yeah. Th thanks for sharing that with us. the The color scheme was awesome. I know. I know. Crypto Kings uh, Jones and about it over there. He loves playing this game. Uh, he's big into it now. Also, uh, I'm gonna pivot a little hard here uh, in, in the Twitter space. And this is this is might be a question you might not be able to answer. And if you can't, I understand that there's all kinds of legalities in there. Uh, a recent Twitter space. Uh, in my opinion, a important incident came up about KYC for U.S. citizens. And like I said, I'm not sure if you can comment on it, but I'm wondering, the bubbles that we earn now, will those go to our wallets or will we have to go through an accredited investor verification when we are able to get access to those? No, 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 no. That's, that's making it too complicated. I, I can totally answer this. I know exactly where you're trying to go. Okay. Um, the bubbles that you earn in the game you will be able to get airdrop their token nuts doesn't you don't need a kyc for that um now once you own those nuts that's kind of what you're talking about and what we decided to do because we spent a long time research our i spent a long time researching tokenomics and economics and stuff like that uh basically to make it short is when you own a stock some of them give dividends right mm -hmm. so if the company makes money they give you dividends for owning the stock we talked to a bunch of lawyers, like, because, like, okay, what's the point of a token, right? Is it just there to trade? Like, no, like, we wanted to make it exactly like the stock market, where if you own our token, you're now li you're now not liable. Um, uh, I can't think of the word, but basically, you get a share of our profits. You know, like how we do with our game, you grow with us and um, earn just like uh, we. So do. you're a partner. You're a real partner. At that point, it's just because you're yes. making you're making a little bit off of the token. Correct. Um, it's right just dividends, right? It's exact. Yep. It'll act exactly like a stock. The one issue is is that's where you have the KYC, right? If you're not KYC and you're in the U.S. and you're not a credit, we can't give you profits. It's just unfortunately for legal issue issues, like that's the way it is, so that we don't get the SEC coming on us and saying, "Hey, like you're a security and exchange." Um, so yeah, freaking Gary Gensler, man, he just ruins everybody's fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crypto King, um, I know you got some thoughts on this. Oh man, I'm a I'm an XRP guy, and that guy just <laughs> has has made oh, man. life uh, a living heck. I'll say, I'll keep it PG. Maybe yeah. just stop bullying XRP, but anyway, whatever. Oh, That's a whole different yeah. conversation. Yeah, exactly. They went after yeah, a little know, LBC token. I mean, come on. Oh, gosh, the people. They are not friends of ours around here. We're very anti uh, Mr. Gensler. I, I forgot to mention, I actually was very big into IMX. I actually got their airdrop. Um, I was playing Gods and Chain when it like, came Ooh. out and everything. Yeah, you made um, out nice. But anyway. Yeah, it was. I thankfully I sold. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we got a, we got some friends in our community. They played Gods Unchained, and uh, they they got some real. I mean, they didn't even put a whole lot into it. They just played and bought a little bit, and they got some nice payouts. So they they were super Those excited about that. Big. I actually bought NFTs to to get it. Um, but yeah, definitely a good good airdrop. Yep. Yep. Well, yep. I I just posed this um, immutable on the sixth. Put out a little a little. Uh, I guess you know another one was their tweet. Really? And I could, yeah, I could have swore 
if you look in the middle of the little disc, okay, I could have swore it was the Peanut Games, like, reflected logo. And I was like, I bet you they bought Peanut Games. I bet you. And that was my big, I thought they said, you know, another one. And that's, is there any possibility that that could be true? Or are you guys still? <laughs> no, it's the the question mark is actually reflecting from what I see. Yeah. But I can see how that kind of looks like it. Um, but no. Okay. I told him I, was, I didn't I was, think so. I was incredibly was happy saying. for you if that was the case. <laughs> yeah, I'd be happy for you too. But I was like, man, I don't see it. I don't see it. It just, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This is probably the biggest thing I heard in the Twitter space this day. And this one just like, I was like, holy smokes. I mean, I, I was at full attention when I heard this. Uh, they they appear to be making, and I'm just conje using conjecture here. It appears that Bubble Bots is just the first iteration for Peanut Games. And this is going to be like a universe almost for Peanut Games. Uh, the, t the team said in 2023 sometime that they're going to have leveling up of characters skills and this one's huge multiplayer pvp and basic mode level increases is just is this mini game that we're playing now this is just this is this just a start of like a multifaceted growing universe for peanut games yes and no so universe i, w I wouldn't use that word okay but the current mini game man is like the very bare bones of the game like we have an entire game design document that's like 60 pages long with like skills and everything it's just right now the mini game is the bare bones so yes we're gonna come out with the whole leveling like the whole intention behind this and i can share a little bit about this i don't want to get too technical because i'm always told that i share too technical i need to like <laughs> dumb it down heavily but if you've ever played hades um in that game they give you like a pop-up of like three skills and you choose one so Ideally for the, the robot, not ideally, but what will happen for the robots that you're playing with in game is when they level up to certain levels, you're going to get like a pop-up randomly pulled from like, let's say you're a common robot. There's like 400 common skills. Randomly, you get three that will pop up on your screen. You're going to choose one and it stacks. It stacks on that one skill that you get to use to trigger when you play, right? Um, so that's a really cool like thing that I'm super excited about skill-wise because it'll make it truly unique, right? Even if you have the same robot, like every person's gonna have a different stacked skill. You'll have like three different skill effects that stack on top of each other or four or whatever it is, um, depending on what level you are. And that's gonna help in this journey. There's gonna be a story um, in the actual regular PvE mode Ooh. Well, I can't say that because there's no PvP mode right now. It's the only mode. <laughs> right. No, no, <laughs> but, I, I get you. I get you. It, it'll be a full-on build. I would say that if anybody's played like Call of Entia or Empires and Puzzles, it'll be a little bit similar in a little bit of aspects, um, but different in a lot of other ways. And I think one of the biggest things that people are going to see is next about next week-ish um, is when we integrate something that's gonna, I think, I really think it's it's huge. Um, it'll probably wanna be one of the biggest things that, I, I think it's just gonna be huge. But yeah, <laughs> I wish I could share it, but oh, I told the- We won't tell anybody if you want when to. You said, when you said it incentivizes you to play more often, you got me so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just, I can see it. I already see it. So I'm gonna show I think you might already know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm so pumped. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah. That's fantastic. Thanks for thanks for that. Uh, any other thing you want to add to that, Crypto King, or comments about that? No, I'm just uh, I'm just elated. Uh, I'm just okay. super super duper pumped. Awesome. Uh, you got time for a couple more questions? We have a few uh, questions from our community that that threw some in there. Yeah, sure. Fire away. Okay, uh, I'll throw you the two softballs first. There's a tough one. Uh, the first Keep one going. is, is there any RPG strategy elements that the team is planning to incorporate to the game? Yes. Um, so that full GDD um, game design doc, basically it's just like a map, a, a plan of how this game will be um, fully mapped out. The, the biggest bottleneck is obviously like development right that mm -hmm. is the hugest part of this and why things take a little bit longer but right. um there's going to be huge rpg elements and again it falls to the skills right like 
having the stacking skill, um, when you start integrating it, oh, frick, like there's so much that I enjoy that I want to share. But basically, when you have an NFT, um, you'll be able to save your progress, right? So like if you just play this game and you get like this really badass skill from a random, think about it, if there's 400 random skills for common robots and you get three and one of them's like super good and it works really well with a different skill. And then on the next level, on the next like 10 levels, you finally unlock another skill and it stacks and it works really well. You're gonna be like, oh dang, like this common robot, because of how the skills are, and how they stack is super powerful, but it's a countdown. So it's like us, everything that we do was stemmed around like making sure that this isn't a Ponzi nomic type of thing, where it's like, okay, NFTs make sense because you can pass on like a really cool skill combination with your robot um, and sell your progress, you know what I mean? Or you can play for free and it'd be a countdown. And if you get a really cool skill combination, I mean, it's countdown. So, but yeah. Awesome. Did I answer the question? No, you did. I you like nailed it. it. You nailed it out of the park. Like Crypto it. King, okay. what'd you think about that? I, I'm he I heard NFT, my ears like lit up. <laughs> I heard stacking skills uh to to make that NFT better. <laughs> they went up a little further. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Be again, playable game. That's the thing. You know, it's not it's not in oh, it'll be coming out, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, you know, Q3 of 2023 it's here now right and it and it's becoming better you know what I mean you know, they're, they're not resting on their law they're not saying okay there it is you know have at it we're done we're going on to the next one you know they're 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 putting a better game together they're they're making utility I mean that's that's what it's all about in nft space it is building that nft you know what I'm excited What's Super really, exciting. what's really funny is actually we were initially thinking of like fully building out the game and releasing it, and not doing like a mini game. So I'm really glad we ended up doing this route because, you know, it would have been like a year building in silence, and yeah. then now it's like no wait let's let's come out with the mini game and just stack on top of it. So yeah. Put I'm really the name glad, out there. Get it going. I'm really glad you guys did. Like I said, we've been looking for games in this space to play, showcase, and talk about, and they're very far and few between. So thank you for not being in silence for all this time. We appreciate it because we're enjoying it, and our community's talking about it. We absolutely love it. Uh, another question from the community. This one, I, boy, I, I, look, I read this three times, and I think I understand the general gist of it. So if I if I got it wrong, whoever asked this, asked this question, I apologize, but I think I got it. Is it possible to use blockchain technology to enhance the player experience? And I believe the the immediate answer is yeah, because you're going to have NFTs to maintain ownership, obviously. But I think it goes a little bit further. What they meant with this question is like, is there anything maybe like uh, maybe some RN Jesus going to be thrown in the factory to give you kind of that that lotto ticket feel, uh, leveraging that blockchain into the game? Yes. Um... Longer question to answer, but uh, like for example, our when we were going to do an NFT launch, we pushed it back due to market conditions. But like one of the things is we're going to have an unlimited battle pass, like a forever unlocked battle pass. So instead of paying for that in game, um, our NFT would just enact as a permanent unlock. So you wouldn't have to ever pay the monthly fee; it would just be unlocked forever. Um, and obviously, we read the data from the blockchain that you own the token, token, but I, it's NFT, right? And then that would be unlocked. Same with the NFT for the robot. And there's another blockchain element when it comes to our token nuts. Uh, but that's much later down the line. Right. Fantastic. Great answer there. Crypto King, any thoughts on that? Um, I, I'm just, I think we got him. I think we got yeah, Crypto N King. <laughs> NFT. I mean, it just, <laughs> I'm, do you, do you guys have that already built out? Or are you still kind of working on that? Like, you know, the number of uh, NFTs that are going to go into play for, for bubble bots. Actually, it's funny. Our art team was like so swamped because we were like, we were hiring like a whole bunch of more contractors and stuff like that as well as internal team. Cause we were going to push this out December 8th, which is today. Wow. And um, so the art and everything is already done. That number is already finalized. Uh, but we decided to push this out. So we're not really mentioning the NFT for now. Sure. Because we don't know when we'll we'll decide to launch that. Okay. Well, awesome. I'm excited. Oh, and the amount is nine nine nine. 
And oh. but that may change though, or the next time that we decide to do it. But when we had planned for it, it was going to be nine nine nine. Hmm. Really? Wow. Yep. Wow. That's awesome. That's that is very interesting. All right, man. I've been throwing some some heaters at you, and uh, I really appreciate you coming on and hanging out with us. I know we've chewed up a ton of your time here, but one last question. This was an easy one to end on a light note here. What is up with your community and tattoos? Every time in the Twitter spaces, people are talking about tattoos. What is going on with this? Man, I'm like, I actually never really used Twitter mm -hmm. <laughs> until like, somewhat recently so i'm kind of a noob on it but i'm always shocked by the conversations myself just like you are mm -hmm. um i'm like what are you guys talking about like <laughs> what is up with this tattoo talk <laughs> so i'm just as shocked as you are man i'm like are they serious <laughs> yeah man, they sound oh, serious and i'm like holy cow these guys uh, they're either crazy or like super passionate. I, I don't know what's going on. And I think like, they're like, actually serious, which is the part that throws me off even more. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna let Henry talk to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love your guys' Twitter spaces. They're so much fun. There's a lot of pep, a lot, a lot of good jokes. Uh, it's just, it's a different atmosphere than, a, and I'm in a lot of Twitter spaces. I'm not just saying that. It's a different atmosphere. If you haven't checked it out you should uh, i think you'll definitely enjoy it just from entertainment value alone plus the information that you get on the game uh we're not going to keep you around too much now you're very, very busy man crypto king is there any final thing that you want to uh, say about the project or, or ask uh joseph before we let him go yeah i was going to throw in i mean i don't know i don't know how long this is but how do you link up with a juggernaut like imx is there a cool story behind that Ooh. Ooh. So actually it was Henry who did the most of that. So on that part, I don't have a full answer. I just know that we went through their, um, their process. Uh, and then I was on some of the calls with IMX. They said that we were actually, I believe their first casual game. Um, and they had a lot of internal debate on that just cause it was like, Ooh, this is casual. Um, I don't remember why I don't like, this was quite some time ago. Yeah. Um, but I'm happy that we were able to, right? Because it just makes sense when it comes to the gasless fees. And I was actually probably the only one on the team that actually used IMX quite heavily uh, during the bull market. So it's cool that you know, that happened. Um, also, you know, a Neo Tokyo citizen. So like I'm following a lot of game stuff and just seeing what's going on there. Um, and Elio Trades is obviously like using IMX as well for his game imposters and other stuff. And he's the co-founder of Neo Tokyo. So yeah. Nice. Great question, Crypto King. I, I am a, an IMX zealot. I know way too much about them. Probably I could talk for hours about IMX, where they've come from, what they're doing and to watch them develop over time. You guys are on a platform that is an absolute monster. And I'm glad you guys chose them because we, we watch it pretty hardcore. My community, and that's how we found you guys, honestly. That's how we found you guys, and I'm glad because uh, the game is absolutely amazing. Um, Joseph, the floor is yours. Is there anything that you want to end this conversation with? Uh, take us take us home, brother. Sure. Um, you know, like, I think in a bear market, right, everybody's looking for, like, the airdrops, and the reason is... is like once the bull market happens, those coins just might move. And I, obviously nobody knows, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, I really think that in a bear market, you should be farming airdrops. And the whole notion behind painted games and whatnot is like, hey, like we want to reward our early members. We want to make sure that they get rewarded for being one of the early community. And so for us, like this airdrop event that we're doing is going to be the biggest one that we do, right? So... If anything, like, hey, go farm bubbles by doing our quests. We're releasing quests every month, more and more opportunities to earn more bubbles. Um, we're rewarding our early community members. And it just helps if you're early, right? It's like with IMX when they, obviously we're not as big as IMX, but when they released their very first airdrop, it was a lot bigger. Same with Splinterlands um, and all these other games. But if Pina Game succeeds, and I believe it will, um, or win, it's like, it's gonna pay off to be an early community member and there's no there's no cost right it's like just play farm 
no harm in having fun and being able to farm bubbles as you go. So, yeah. Boy, I can't I can't tell you how much I agree with that. In fact, the last couple months with the sediment of the bear market and my my own personal community, my goal has been to go out there and find projects like yours to where people can farm and not have to input anything right now. And because everybody's scared to get in, I get it. It's it's human psychology, but like if you could go and just play things and just accumulate things for for practically nothing or to maybe just a, a very small cost, that's what I'm trying to push on my community is like, Hey, let's go do this. Let's go do this and accumulate these now while we're waiting for this cycle to come back to the bull market. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely agree with you a thousand percent. Uh, I can't tell you how thankful I am that you came on the show today. This has been absolutely awesome. We love the project. Uh, we love the community. We love the Twitter spaces. This is CPO just Joseph Wong, uh, with, with peanut games and this exclusive mini game bubble bots. Check it out. If you haven't, it's, absolutely fun to play it's it's very addictive and they got more coming i want to thank everybody for tuning in and and, and watching this amazing interview and we'll be talking more and more about bubble butts as we to go forward everybody take care bye bye now